previously on the Caddison Chronicles. It's hard to believe that it has been 88 days since Jack took command of Earth. You're not working for him. Um, Alex's sister, Sam Kennedy. My sister? What is this time back you? This is going to reverse time to before Jack came within close contact with Earth. Whatever he is planning next is already commencing. The satchel. What's in it? <laughs> Liam! They must have been waiting for us. He's going to use me as a way to invade and conquer every planet in the universe. I feel something inside of me. Ah, <gasps> My gift to the whole of time and space. Merry Christmas, kitty. <laughs> Liam Caddison, Juliet Raw, Kimberly Fleming, and Martin Arkless in The Caddison Chronicles, Series 3, Episode 3, Master Part 2. Written by Liam Catterson. So, yeah. Taking on all of these creatures? What stands more of a chance? Us? Or the Kardashians getting talent? I know. It looks pretty damning, especially with Liam out. But we're not out of hope just yet. Meaning? I have something that may work. Cover your eyes. You'll be fine! They're stunned. Take out as many as you can. Take my gun. I'm slicing these bastards. Oh. Most of them are down. The stun grenade worked better than I had expected. One of the maracs remains. I think he sees. Me. Nice throw. Certainly got the makings of a Kennedy. How come those stun grenades didn't come in hand earlier? We're limited and they were spread out previously. Would have hindered us rather than helped us. Go to the panel. You hear that? More coming. I'll stand guard. You expect to take them on by yourself? You remember when I said I had a trick up my sleeve? In my satchel, I have all kinds of potions that were created for battle scenarios to help me if I needed it. A formula that increased rage, strength, and movement. It lost five minutes, but gave me one hell of an advantage. Drag Liam's body to the panel, just in case he wakes up. Got it. You take it easy. Okay, this looks like the navigation section of the ship, which should mean, once we get a closer look, we'll be able to find our hatch. <sighs> Coming around. Those creatures are definitely no laughing matter. What's happening? Sam is going to be taking on the Marax whilst being enhanced. We, however, will try and access the hatch. And we found it. Seeing it is one thing, accessing is another. Let me have a look at this. Okay, let's get this over with! Like spreading through his butt. Is that all you got? You can get the hell off me! How the hell is she doing that? She's being a great help. How the powerful that formula is making her. You are gonna leave them alone! I didn't know she was this amazing. Nearly there. One is on the run. No 
Mercy! <laughs> Bullseye. I'll take my sword back. Fast. Okay. What the hell did I just see? My nice side, if anything. Shame there were more of them. I probably would have just kicked into my hidden strength to rip their heads off. Okay, don't get too cocky. You may have had some enhancement in you, but at the end of the day, you're still human. But from what I glanced at, that was impressive how you sliced up all those maracs. Ah, we have access. Above this room is Jack's location. This has been a long time coming. Don't attack until I say so. Up there, these are the last marks inside the field. Down there, our numbers don't look impressive. Here! Mitch, can we hurry up your path? Come on, Mitch. This should be easy enough. What seems to be the problem? Wait. Oh, that might do it. Someone discreetly locked the systems so any changes made would bounce back to its default settings. Okay, with that portion destroyed, any changes made should stick. Let's go! Come on, Mitch! They're almost here! Oh no! No! Ah. Damn it, Leo! All the maracs in this area. Done. Mitch, what the hell is going on? He did it. We're all in the clear, people. The Marax won't be a threat to us anytime soon. If you could all remain here whilst me and my pack deal with another matter, that would be great for your sakes. The Marax aren't going to harm you. I gather my little trick performed a plan. It was baffling how nothing would execute the plan, but after cracking the mystery, I managed to not only extend the height of the wall, but the depth too, for an extra mile out. I was beginning to show signs of concern. Do you have the teleports? Right beside me. Now let's bring down that monster. Why does this hurt so much? Jack, you don't need this. Stop hurting Sarah, please. But Stacy, I want to suck her radiation. <laughs> this machine, it's making me, it's making me weak. Like I said, you should really do what the chamber is doing. Suck it up. <laughs> Liam. Liam. Is a bit tied up at the moment, but he couldn't make it to rescuing you. Increase the power. The sooner the chamber is boiling with a time radiation, the sooner it won't just be Master of Earth. I should just shoot you right here, right now. Um... Fortunately, Sarah tried that trick once before, and I still look handsome. The only loser would be you, but then again, you're already a loser like the rest of humanity. One big, gigantic loser. Once he's free, he'll kill you. I hope he does. <laughs> no, Sarah. What's he doing to Sarah? Don't go into this blindly, Liam. Whatever he is doing to your friend, it must be part of the secret project that I was none the wiser about. That... that smell. I can't smell anything. It's a distinctive material for Ocellians. He's boiling something. Wait... I think... I think that's Kalanix. And? What the hell is that? Muscle weakening substance. Why is he using all of that energy on an ordinary human being? It's not for Sarah. He must be using Sarah as some kind of energy source. If worse, an example. He said he had a gift for the universe. What if that substance is for the universe? Well, the obvious. He needs to be stopped, but as you said, rushing in is a suicidal approach with two maracs there. I may have an idea. Oh, we're halfway there. 
It's like cooking a Christmas turkey. Oh, it smells delicious. And victory tastes sweet. <laughs> Can there at least be something in my life that goes according to plan? Oh, what now? Stacy, look after Sarah. And to ensure no shenanigans are brought into play, two of the Maraks will look after you. If she tries to stop the process, don't be afraid to snap her neck. Oh, I actually hope you do some foul play now. <laughs> Shh, dearie. Daddy is trying to assert dominance over the unit. Oh. My Marax army on Earth has taken a huge hit. Well, well, I have to offer them a prize for defying my expectations. Oh, but I have the perfect gift. And it's one they'll get tired of. <laughs> you remember when you locked me away? <gasps> I said the humans would rebel. No matter how strong your monsters are. You! How the hell did you break out of my chains? I'm gonna have to get a refund. Oh, they were a hassle to get out of. See, that's the thing about me. I never stopped fighting, so the moment you locked me in chains, something that can prove to be escapable in just the right spot, I knew keeping me in captivity was a bad idea. I've been waiting here this whole time. Figured I'd get some one-on-one -on -one time with my twin. Oh, how sweet. And I have the perfect present. It's called beating the crap out of you. There's no need for hostility. We can settle this without either of us having to fight. But brother, us not fighting is like a joke with no punchline. What is the point in our encounters if I don't make you look pathetic? Violence has never won for you, and it won't today. Your conflict breeds conflict. Sure, you're not willing to chastise yourself for these crimes, but even if you fought me today and promised my death, it's not gonna happen. Since this is the third encounter with you since the ending of the war, they say third time is the charm, and I have everything going good for me. Well, apart from the humans being annoying as usual, but that will be rectified. Oh, sorry. Nearly gave it away there, didn't I? <laughs> I always believed ignorance was bliss. It doesn't matter anyways, because you will be stopped, and you won't see it coming. No. I know what it is. I don't see it coming. Give me a break. You're too predictable. Like a child turning down vegetables, it makes me want to puke. You can't break your own rule and change time whenever you feel like it. Yeah, and I still stand by that. I am not going to be around forever. Neither are you. This is your victory since you feel no greater achievement than you being able to dictate the lives of a populated species, weeding out the weak and subjecting innocents to torture. I am going to stop you, break the hold humanity is confined to, and help the human race rebuild. No. That isn't your plan. Something feels off. This is not funny. What are you hiding? I don't like surprises! Oh, Jack. You may be an insane psychopath hellbent on fracturing anything that isn't like you, but you're not stupid. Something is off. You should have realized it in the beginning. I am just a distraction for your plan to stop. Jade. Mitch. Did you stop the Morax? Wouldn't be here if we didn't. Is that Sarah? Correct. We need to take out the two Morax holding guard for Jack. Where's that psycho? Occupied for now. Let's take these brutes out. They're outnumbered, no matter their strength. You fiddled me good. <laughs> Now you're truly dead to me, and here I was considering letting your friends live for me to do experiments on them. Well, I'm sorry to inform you, 
But your empire is finished. You were blind to the partnership we all had because in the end, you're alone. And your insanity and cruelty will always have you alone. The Marak should be killed by my friends, and yet another plan of Jack Catterson has gone down the toilet. <laughs> You're a hologram? That isn't exactly fair! Neither was lying to me when I offered myself prisoner, but, but unfortunately, life isn't fair. And so sometimes, like I've done, we learn to accept our losses. Oh! And I think everyone who uses a hologram has to at least try this once in their lives. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only <coughs> Any Marax on board who aren't scratching their behinds, I have a game. It's called Kill or Be Killed. Kill Liam, or I'll be on a diet that consists on Marax meat. Got it? Good. Sly moron has locked the door! Liam! I'll skin you alive if you do not open this door! Liam, it's you. I'm here, Sarah, I'm here. Stacy, how do we unhook Sarah from this chair? I don't know. I can't override anything. Jack assigned any operation that disrupts activities. You're only on his command. Liam, this hurts. He's extracting time radiation from me. He's trying to weaken the whole universe. <sighs> Makes it easier for him to conquer the universe, stomping authority on all races. Jake, Mitch, you both need to enter the Orbis and prepare to plug the time vacuum into the heart of the Orbis. Why not now? It's not safe with Sarah connected to the Orbis. Sam, are you able to manipulate the technology around you to disable the locks on Sarah's seat? It's deadlocked to oblivion. I don't know anything aside from Jack's controls that can do it. Unless I disable the ship momentarily. But it may give Jack the opportunity to escape. If we're fast, it may not be an issue. Right. But we all know how cunning he is. Can we save the discussions until later? This thing is hurting my mind. Oh, sorry. You positive you want to do this? For Sarah's sake and the universe. Let me access the main generator of the ship via the tablet. Disabling power in three, two, one. Ah! It worked! A bit of cramp in my hand, but I live. Oh, thank God you're okay. Oh no! Some of the integral parts of the ship failed to boot up when I did the quick reset. Especially part of the engines. I'll be right back. Just need to rectify them. Jake, Mitch, the time vacuum! Okay, time to get rid of this nightmare. Placing the vacuum into the Orbis. Sarah? Sarah, what's the date? July 23rd, 2018. The day Jack took over the world. We did it! We did. That was also a weird tingling shift in our boots. Weird shift? Well, the terraform was in a different part of the universe before the rift was expanded for the terraform to emerge above the Earth. As an Orsalian, my senses are amplified to feel the shift of a ship not compatible to time travel transform to a different location in one instant. Jack's virus is still here. Yet you've just confirmed that time has been reversed to the moment before Jack's invasion. The same answer to why there's no Marex on board, Jack isn't in this room, and there isn't another version of me running around. We're at the eye of the storm. And now Jack's reign is over. All errors should be resolved. There still seems to be weird signals emerging from the engine room. Okay. Hello? Is somebody there? <laughs> knock, knock. 
Who's there? Death. <laughs> you put your left knife in, you put your left knife out. In, out, in, out, you slash it all about. <laughs> Jack? Is that you? Now we all know how it goes, dear old Jack. If you can't beat them, blow them all to smithereens. Oh, Sam. Why did you go and do it? You know what this means. Someone is not going to be a big girl. And I'm not talking about the terminally ill. <laughs> For as long as you do not return to your command room, you will never get anywhere close to my angel ever again. Hmm. Perhaps you're right. An upbringing is ever more tragic if the child is an orphan. They lose a sense of their identity and find answers that lead to a horrifying conclusion. I've been wanting to put a sword through your throat. Today you forced me to work under your cruelty. I'll enjoy ending you. <laughs> Hologram? Peekaboo! <laughs> At least you felt me there. <laughs> I figured if Liam can use the same trick to manipulate me, why the hell can I not? Did you think it was going to be that easy? Don't make me laugh. <coughs> Alex! Ooh, keep the noise down. I want you to die alone, hopelessly, and whimpering with nobody to aid you. I love it when people die like that, all because of the fact that they die alone. <laughs> I gave you an opportunity to survive, and you threw it like a pie in my face. What? Because I'm actually a caring person? Because I despised your cruelty but had no say in the matter? There was nothing I could do but follow your pathetic, insane orders? I have that free will now. With this freedom, you should just die. If wishing someone to die was going to work, Liam would be dead a thousand times over. You, him, everyone has ruined my big night! I've spent months perfecting my paradise and you ruined it! But there's one more thing left to do. If I can't get what I want, nobody else should. What do you mean? The universe got rolled back 88 days and I figured I'd contribute in the celebrations by launching a fireworks display right here in the terraform. <laughs> Wait, you placed a bomb? Surprise! Well, it's increasing the engine temperature, but once the engines reach 2,000 degrees, kaboom! <laughs> I'm not letting you explode this ship with all of us on. You are going to remove that bomb and face justice for what you've done. Uh, um, well, I can't remove it. Even if the impossible change of heart happened, it wants to be on the engine permanently. Besides, what will you do about it? <laughs> First, you're gonna suffer for your actions. Keep away from my sister. Now. I suggest letting Sam go. Then you're going to deactivate the bomb you've planted. Like I told the traitor, you can't. Even if I wanted to, it would be impossible. But where's the fun in suspending something that sees guts fly apart and flesh being minced to the wall like a house made from meat? Last chance. Don't make me do this. <laughs> oh, Liam, if you had the stomach to kill me, you would have done it years ago. However... <clears throat> Let her go! Jack, don't you dare hurt Sal. Oh, I'm not going to hurt Sam. I am just going to kill her. Dead people don't feel pain. They only feel a release from life. It's just, you really, really hurt me, Sammy. And if I were to let these actions go unpunished, well, people would start losing trust in me. You deserve everything you get. I did. But you all took that away from me. 
No! A force field! <laughs> this would be the second Kennedy I've killed. Isn't that right? Hey, Sam! When I killed your pathetic father, he whimpered. He died alone. Now, at least Alex gets to watch you suffer. <laughs> if I'm going to hell, I am going to take you with me. <laughs> Time for you to die for everything that you have done. Funny. I was going to say the same for you. <laughs> no! Oh, look at that. My floor has red liquid over it. You didn't have to make such a mess. <laughs> Alex, my child, save her. Jack, let down this force field. But then you'd come and hurt me. <laughs> Liam, please do something. Do you think I'm not trying to find a way? Any last words, Sam? Huh? Get your arm off her, now. I am so sorry it had to come to this, Sam. Those who betray me are relieved from their duties. From life, that is. It was a blast, but you just couldn't laugh and see the world as I saw it. Alex. Life. You have to. <laughs> Sam! Another one bites the dust. Oh, I feel bad for not saying that when she was alive. But I guess our partnership just broke. <laughs> I am going to kill you. I won't stop until you are unrecognizable. You murder my father, my sister, all for you to get a kick out of murder. You have no reason to live. Anger is usually the second stage of grief, my friend, not the first. I'd love to bring this force field down, but I love it even more seeing the reaction to a typical human too helpless to do anything but watch and cry. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. Eh, uh, screw it. I'll laugh anyways. <laughs> screw this. I have a plan. Oh, now you have a plan. Alex, she was dead before we even knew he confronted her. I feel so bad for you and wish there was something I could do to prevent this from happening, but you need to trust that I'm doing the best I can. This idea I have may be our best shot. Whatever it is, and I don't care what method it is, it better kill him. For good. Sarah, are you okay? Did you have another vision? I've just seen Sam. Jack snapped her neck. What? Alex. He's safe. There's some kind of barrier in between Jack and Alex. It's not his physical condition I'm concerned about. It's his emotional condition. Liam. Mitch, where are you? Just trying to unplug everything from the Orbis. She won't take off with all these wires connected. I don't care about that. The Kalanix virus, how damaging can it be to a single life form? Of course. It, it would depend on what Mitch, kind of- Mitch, there's only one enemy on this ship, and as far as I'm concerned, I want him dead. We're a powerful species, but I don't think even we could survive with a blast of the virus. I want you and Jade to set up the chamber so it can shoot towards a person. Stacy, Sarah, you can unplug the wires from the Orbis. Even if we give him a blast of the Klanex virus, he may not be killed, he could just be weakened. This hasn't been experimented on, and I've seen him before. Even if he's weakened, it's a plus for us. There's an active bomb on this ship that Jack's planted. Sam has died, and Jack's cowardly sealed himself on the opposite side via a force field. In reality, the virus should bypass the force field. Let's get to work. I always said I would kill you after what you did to my father. And if I saw you again, I wouldn't be all talk. I have no choice at this minute because you are a coward. You don't even see how funny this is. Everything has changed in the past couple of minutes. Now it's us two. And you've been so hungry for me to kick the crap out of you. Good things come to those who...
awaits. <coughs> <laughs> if your intentions were to miss, congratulations, you moron. I'll kill you. I'll get my feet, and I'll show you how to feel pain. No, you're right. I am feeling pain. The pain that... This fight is just not as whole as it would be if I were kicking the crap out of my twin. Maybe it's me and Liam. We're destined to beat the crap out of each other until one of us finally becomes uglier than the other. Whereas your family has a habit of always dying on me. Oh! Oh! Back for more, eh? You're going to die in pain, so you can suffer for the lives you've ended. Dying in pain is taking a person who's overweight to an all-you-can-eat restaurant. The more pain I feel, the better. And the reason you can't relate is because you have not opened your eyes to my world. You designate yourself as normal. And when you have not lived my life, the pain you will receive is a shock for your body. Whereas it's a pleasure for mine. See, Liam would have put up a longer fight. Maybe you're not cut out to fight an aggressive psycho like yours truly, but I am cut out to cut into your body. <laughs> you know, actually, I, I think I've acquired a taste for killing Kennedys. At first, your daddy, well, he got in the way, and I just had to see him suffer. Then we have your sister, who would hurt me like a friend talking bad behind your back. Maybe I'll find her daughter, and I can skin the flesh from her infant body and rejoice once I'm done with you. Think of it as a running gag. <laughs> oh, watch out! You might cut yourself. Sam said this sword was used to protect the weak. Others could be preserved. And I know she would want me to use this sword to end you. That isn't fair. I only have a knife. My gun is in my command room. Can I go and get it? Ha! <laughs> I guess not. You want to talk about equality? You closed off any opportunity for me to be with my sister. You didn't make it fair for her daughter. You don't make it fair for anyone but yourself. You deprive innocence. I'll be sure to know that this sword will protect the innocent. Starting with your demise. Time for me to improvise. The ship is going to blow once those engines are at 2,000 degrees. I may as well use the most of my resources. Really? A sword against a sharp pipe that I could slice through? Your funeral. Ha! <coughs> hmm. Nothing screams awkward more than making yourself look like a fool. The metal structure on this ship is alien. Your sword is not going to burst this pipe into two. It's a shame I'll have to keep prying at your body for it to die, but in my experience, that's way more fun. <laughs> the only person dying here is you. Die! Ha! <laughs> Oh, give it up! I can see the 
trembling, feeling, as you press your sword against my fake sword. You know I can beat you. You just don't want to confess to your fears. That trembling feeling is my rage. I am thinking of a hundred different ways to finishing you off. Why do people always leave openings for me to attack them? You may as well hold up a sign saying, just kill me. Though that is appetizing for me. <laughs> Shut up! Huh. Missed me! <laughs> you ignorant fool! Did you ever think that you had any hope on beating a psycho willing to dice my modified pipe into you over and over again? You may be full of anger, but you're also stumbling. And doesn't that just open the door for me to disembowel you to bits and pieces? You said it yourself. It's not a sword, which means I have the advantage. <laughs> this is mine, not yours! Sam's life was mine to cherish, not yours to take. <laughs> <laughs> Face. I'm getting sick of you delaying your death. I'm ending this. Maybe while I'm persistent, son of a bitch, but you surely don't know how to watch your back. Huh? Hello, brother. Ah! Ah! No! No! What are you doing? You're weakening my strength! No! Ah, good. You remember what this is. We just modified it so it could expel energy like a cannon. This isn't fair. I was winning. No. Exactly. That's the problem with you, brother. You always warp your head around arrogance, denying anything that spells doom to your paradise because it doesn't register to your own paradise. You might make the jokes, but you're so easy to fool. Oh, <laughs> you think you've won this? One day... This universe will be one big amusement park. And you will be powerless to stop me from getting what I want. Don't deny it. It will be only a matter of time before the universe is changed once more. And everyone will have no choice but to laugh and smile. You've had your opportunity of a universe filled with madness and despair. Welcome to reality. <laughs> oh, how is this universe that you work so hard for any better than the one I strive so hard to perfect? 
You don't do anything about the constant civil war amongst humanity. You just pop away in your time machine like a teenager seeing their favorite boy band, and then Earth gets ravaged by hatred. But I add a little spice in the recipe, and suddenly I've ruined the meal? It made me smile. You just got no sense of humor. If you didn't like my universe, you could have just died. <laughs> he should be weak enough by now. There won't be any need to interfere. <laughs> disabled person fighting a bodybuilder. Where's the neutrality? <laughs> Go on. Kill me. If you're going to give me something I want, it's what I deserve. <laughs> <laughs> There's no victory for you this time. No way you can overcome me. You've lost. Where are you going? Are you too afraid of killing me? Come back and kill me with your own hands, you coward! <laughs> Get to the yours. The engine temperatures are close to 2,000 degrees. Jack's weak to do anything but move. We don't need to do anything when he'll only get caught up in the blast. No, 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 no! <coughs> He's activated the force fields! Jack, don't even think about it! <laughs> don't you just love repeat episodes? Well, Liam and Alex, I'd love to stay and chat, but I'm going to miss my flight if I stick around. You know how it goes. You'll see me again. I'll find some way to make you look pathetic and rinse and repeat. And you know that you can never escape me. And ain't that the fun part of our rivalry? Anywho, it's been quite the education. But as they say, TTFN. <laughs> Getting sick of that, his get out of jail free card. Every time he looks defeated for good, he always has a trick up his sleeve. I tried to kill him. My head was pushing me to shove my arm through his chest if I had the opportunity. Sam. I'm sorry, I could not do anything to stop him from killing you. He had you in a vulnerable situation. His psychotic actions allowed him to stop me from stopping him. I'll avenge you. I'll find your daughter. I'll carry on your legacy. Okay, that's not good. The engines are at 2,000 degrees. Which means this ship is going to blow. In a minute's time, we have to go. I have to get Sam's satchel first. Go. I know the way back. Thank you, sister. I'll build your sword from here on. I love you. Okay, alarms are never a good thing, and Liam did tell us there was a bomb. I'm guessing that's the bomb signal. Or the engine's getting hot in this case. In, 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 in. We have to go! This place is gonna explode! What about Alex? He's coming, he just needs to grab some things. Come on, everyone in! Hope I'm not too late. Final one, and that's everyone. Ooh, there we are. We're all safe. 
Hope nobody left anything behind. Jack had one of your gadgets. The thing you usually wave around. Uh, hope he didn't do anything to it. No, looks good. But thanks for keeping me up to date, Stacy. I'd have another one ready if it blew up, but the first one is always the special one. It's so weird. Everyone is acting like nothing has happened. That's because nothing did happen. They weren't affected in the eye of the storm, so if you were to go up to them about slavery and bats like humanoids, they'll only send the white coats after you. Yeah, at least we stopped one loony today. But at a cost. Alex, I'm so sorry about Sam. She was a brave person. And she'd be proud of you. No matter what. It's not like you failed her. I've had two chances to kill Jack. None of them have been executed. He's invincible with his escape claws randomly occurring whenever it's necessary for him. He's killed my dad and my sister. It's not even for a vendetta. It's because he is begging for me to snap. And if I see him again, no matter the circumstance, I'll finish him. She... She wanted you to find her daughter. You sure you don't want me to come along? This is something I must do on my own accord. If you have any clue on Zero's whereabouts, that'd help me out a lot. But I want to retrieve the only flesh and blood I have left out there. And will help. What? We've been having a think. It's amazing we've gotten to reunite and all. But during Jack's reign of hell, and all three of us wandering the earth, we thought that if Earth was released from Jack's hold, we could stick behind for a bit. Earth doesn't have people like you defending it, whilst you and Sarah travel the universe. We'd be happy to help establish a protective system on Earth. This is all just so sudden. I mean, I know the journey with the pair of you has been going on for a couple of years, just... I don't want you to go. It's only a temporary gig. We're just helping Alex set up a protocol for when you've decided to pop to another planet. Besides, this is a great opportunity for you and Sarah to have some alone time. Are you sure? I'm not going to lynch the pair of you into my ship and keep you trapped there. Just making sure if you feel this is the right choice. Alex said something, and you're going to kill me for this, Alex. But he became inspired by you. Great. So this just became revealing. <laughs> yeah. He said, after the incident with Silver City in the outage, that he felt limited because Earth is not accustomed to the knowledge and advancements that we Orsenians reveled in. And because Alex is wanting to protect the Earth by any means, we thought we could get him off to a start. Set up a protocol called GRID. GRID? Global Research Intelligence Defense. Yeah, no, it's a tad cheesy, but we all came to an agreement. We're sorry if this is upsetting. I couldn't be any prouder of you, Alex, for feeling inspired and wanting to help the world. And for the pair of you for giving him that opportunity. It's just going to feel a bit lonelier with the pair of you gone. As we've said, you've got Sarah. I'm sure she won't be a problem. Well, I guess this is goodbye. For now, you make this sound like we're going to be gone forever. One final group hug before we depart. You take good care of yourselves. I love you both. It's been wonderful having the pair of you on board in these last two years. I'll hopefully see you both around soon. Sarah, he's got an at some point. I'm sure it's going to be okay. See you around. I hope you're not mad at me that I'm stealing your crew. Ah, uh, they're not only helping you out. They're strengthening Earth and are willing to solve issues with Earth that would possibly still linger if this idea of grid didn't come into fruition. Take care of them. If anything, I'm sure they'll be the ones taking care of me. Thank you for everything today and the past 88 days, I guess we can consider. I know we tried our best to stop your twin. I know how much you want him dead. But he can't do this disappearing act forever. I know. 
I want answers, and I'll get them. But until the next time... You and Sarah take care of yourselves. I know you will, but it doesn't hurt to offer my gratitude. And thank you for aiding my sister. I can't thank you enough. I'm sorry for your loss. But she was a good person who died fighting for honor. And you get to continue her legacy. Good luck out there. It was nice meeting you again. Not so nice circumstances, but you know where we are if you need us. Look after yourself. You too, Sarah. Not a problem, Stacy. Take care. So, Alex, you never got around to confirming which was better. Coffee or tea? Oh, this debate is never going to end, is it? Ooh, it's a good job that the pair of them left me anyways. How come? I couldn't say this without causing commotion. In my fight against Jack, I placed a tracking device on him because I had a feeling he was going to try his disappearing act on me again. Oh. Are we going after him? I am. You're not. It's only going to be a journey away from you, but I'm going to try and find him. This is feeling a bit like deja vu, and it took ten years for you last time out. Yeah, we've no idea what he was up to, where he was, or on what universe. Now, I have an advantage. I want answers. Why do these rifts keep opening up for him? I don't believe in coincidence three times in a row. I think someone is pulling him from our encounters. I'll be gone a week. Maximum for both of our perspectives. Cross my hearts. I don't know. You and time travel, not always a match made in heaven. Please, Sarah. Any longer than seven days, you're getting a kick up the backside, and it won't be pretty. You have my word. You can catch up with your friend and chill before just the pair of us get to tackle the great adventures out there. I'm serious about my last comment. Seriously, just be careful out there. Last thing I want from you is to look like hell. Don't worry. That's the least of my concerns. I worry of getting no answers, and that's exactly what I need at this point. Oh! Oh! Ow! That could have split my head open! It would suck for whoever had to clean up my brains! <laughs> Jack, I believe you are Jack. Who's there? If this is a birthday surprise, you're months off. This is not a meeting of celebration, more of understanding. Ugh. Spare the lecture, seriously. The only voice I listen to is me and me alone. So unless you're a future incarnation of me under that ho Actually, no. Even a future incarnation of myself needs to listen to me. Otherwise, he or she would not exist if it weren't for me. Interesting you bring up your future. Did you know in your current condition, you are dying? <laughs> I'll handle the jokes around here. You dismiss our warning, yet our warning is valid. Take a look at your hand. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Change? How is this possible? Your virus, you aim to weaken the entire universe with. When you got hit with the virus, it started to gain cells in your body. The virus is killing you, slowly but surely. But we can prolong your life up until a pivotal event you will participate in. So, the little weasel got his revenge on me after all. Huh. Note to self, yank his teeth out one by one the next time you see him. Do I get a spoiler on who my successor is then? We can't fully explain the event we're referring to, other than it's called Crisis, and you're required. Which is why on three occasions, 
We pulled you out of your predicament. So, it was you all those times. I thought the universe needed a psychotic madman like me to be saved. It needs someone with a stomach to produce chaos and blood. Look no further. <laughs> we attempted for you and Liam to survive. For when Liam and you are involved with Crisis, any attempt to end the other's life will see extraction from your current place in time, so you can be preserved. Aw, oh, you're my guardian angel. Ironic with what you're wearing. Should you both survive Crisis, we'll no longer have the ability to intervene in your bloodlust against your twin. And that means... I get to kill Liam whenever I want. That or he can kill me. You should tell me what the hell you are, at least. It's okay. Your secret is safe with me. And if I blab, you can always try electroshock therapy. My guilty pleasure. <laughs> we exist from a pocket dimension, observing your events, and are willing to save you before a crisis emerges. Until we call for you again, we cannot share more information. Farewell. Wait. Hey. Hey! You can't leave me hanging! Cliffhangers are the worst! What is crisis? <sighs> the ignorance and mystery. But as he said, he won't be around forever. And the moment I get the chance to kill Liam will be retribution. He took away one of my incarnations. There is humor. And then there is crossing a line, taking the joke too far. You did that, Liam. And one day I'll get you back. One day you will die for what you've done to me. And it will be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> in Master Part 2, Liam and Jack Catterson was played by Liam Catterson. Sarah Penelope was played by Juliet Raw. Jade Caraxes was played by Kimberly Fleming. Mitch Aaron was played by Martin Arkless. Alex Kennedy was played by Jonathan Beatles. Stacey Johnson was played by Sarah Yogaswara. Sam was played by Malin Carp. The Druid was played by Mike Anthony. Leo was played by Tom Rayner. Next time on the Catterson Chronicles. Welcome to Valdorus. Doesn't look very advanced. This bomb is life's end. I'm a king and the rightful name to the throne. There's not gonna be any bloodshed whatsoever. Peace wasn't offered to my father when he was killed. I not ready to die. Both of you do not need this war. I'm ending this. Queen, don't! A decision like this is not one you could go through with!